everyone i hope you all are doing great so let us start today with jenkins interview questions we will try our best to cover almost all the jenkins related interview questions so let us begin one question which interviewer can ask you always is share an example of jenkins pipeline scenario you worked in your project so what will be the high level explanation in case you have to explain to the interviewer so you have a java code in your github means in the local system in your machine you are having the java code or either it's python code whatever the code but you are having it in local system now you will be committing the code from local machine to github github is like cloud where from the local system you are pushing the code to github now once code is pushed to github jenkins server will pull the code from github repository and we we, we have configured the github and jenkins like whenever the new commit happens to github automatically jenkins pipeline will trigger and it will pull the latest code from github repository now once jenkins get it what jenkins will do jenkins will have one of the plugin that is maven what maven does so jenkins pipeline will build the source code using build automation tool called as maven and create the artifact to be deployed inside the containers so what exactly this step is going to do in this step the code source code which has been pulled by jenkins will be deployed using maven and maven will create a artifact what will be that artifact it it will be if the java code is there it will be dot jar file now once this artifact is deployed what it will do it will copy the artifact such as jar file to ansible server where docker image will build and deploy on a docker container so suppose from the jenkins server you have connected to a ansible server so what you are going to do that jar file will be copied from jenkins to the ansible server and on the ansible server you will push the image to docker hub and then that docker hub will contain the image of java jar file now that image will be pulled on your ansible server and that image will be deployed in form of containers so new image will be deployed and your application will start running on the server wherever you want to run so overall what this pipeline has done whatever the code i was having in the local system that has been committed to github from github jenkins pipeline triggered automatically since we have configured git webhook which triggers the jenkins pipeline once it goes to jenkins jenkins uses that source code and use the automation tool called maven and create the artifact and once artifact is created that jar file is put to the ansible server and on the ansible server you are pushing the image to docker hub from docker hub the image is pulled on the server and in the form of containers that image is deployed so this is one of the high level example which you can explain to the interviewer let us move to the next question when you will be installing jenkins you might face the problem related to java version so whenever you will try to start your jenkins it will not start and you might get the error so what kind of error you will see when you will run the command journal ctl hyphen xc you will see the error jenkins invalid java version open gtk 1.8.0 so this error will appear both in journal ctl logs and where log messages file so once you find this kind of invalid java version error what you have to do to fix this problem so to check that if in your system do you have multiple versions of java installed in case multiple versions of java are installed you will see when you will run the command sudo alternatives hyphen hyphen display java this will show you multiple versions of java for now latest version of jenkins you always need jdk 11 so if you find in the options 1.8.0 or 11 then you have to run this command sudo alternatives hyphen hyphen config java 
and whatever the latest version of Java is there, you have to select the choice like option 1 or option 2. So, if option 2 is coming the higher version, select option 2 and then again check the Java version. So, now your Java version will be the latest Java version. Once Java issue is fixed, you can directly start your Jenkins service using systemctl start Jenkins. Now, let us move to next question. So, this question is very famous and lot of time people will ask, what is difference between a scripted and declarative Jenkins pipeline? So, a scripted pipeline in Jenkins uses a more flexible groovy based scripting syntax. Groovy is again a scripting language based something similar like Java. So, in a scripted pipeline, you can use the groovy scripting and use to write the complex pipeline. So, it provides fine-grained control and allows you to use custom logic, loops and conditional statements directly within the pipeline script. Now, what is declarative then? So, a declarative pipeline on the other hand uses a more structured and limited syntax. It provides a simplified way to define pipeline and is generally preferred for straightforward use cases. So, let me show you one example of a scripted pipeline and one example of declarative pipeline. So, if you go and check your scripted pipeline, the very first thing which will help you to recognize that it's a scripted pipeline. So, the code will start with the key node. So, if the code, the pipeline code is starting with keyword node, this means it's a scripted pipeline. Now, after that, you are defining multiple stages. First, you are checking out from source code management. Then, you have the build stage. And even you are writing try-catch statements. Since it's a scripted, so a lot of things are permissible here. You can use multiple types of script using the Groovy language. Now, apart from that, you, even you can write if-else conditions in your code and accordingly you can deploy whatever deployment you want to do. Now, then what is beginning of declarative pipeline? So, declarative pipeline will always start with the keyword called pipeline. And this uses to run the cell script. Very simple, we use sh command and then we write our cell scripts. So, you will be writing this code in very simple way. So, whenever you want to write very complicated pipelines, Groovy syntax is recommended and you are recommended to write your pipeline in a scripted pipeline language. But whenever you are not much aware or not much familiar with the Groovy syntax, it's very fine to use declarative pipeline and you can run your cell scripts or normal commands using declarative pipeline. So, declarative pipeline is the recent one which makes life easier for DevOps engineer, whereas a scripted pipeline, you need to be aware with Groovy scripting. Now, next question comes, how to integrate Helm with Jenkins pipeline? So, first let us understand what is Helm. So, Helm is a tool that automates the creation, packaging, configuration and deployment of Kubernetes application by combining your configuration file by combining your configuration files into a single reusable package so install helm on the jenkins agent so make sure helm is installed on the jenkins agent where your pipeline will run this typically involves downloading the helm binary and adding it to the agent's path now configure jenkins credential so if your helm repository or Kubernetes cluster required credential, set up necessary credentials in Jenkins. This could include Kubernetes configuration files like QConfig or authentication tokens from Helm repositories. So, to create a Jenkins pipeline, create a new pipeline job in Jenkins or use an existing one and configure it to connect to your version control git to fetch the Jenkins file. Now, how do you handle credentials securely in Jenkins? So, this also I'll explain, but let me show you the Helm pipeline, how the Helm pipeline will work. So, we'll have the pipeline, isn't any, this is again the declarative pipeline. Environment, you are telling kubeconfig. So, in kubeconfig, you are getting the credentials. And where you will get the credential? 
Jenkins has a credential store. There you can store your credentials and using the credential ID, you can call it inside your pipelines. Now, in the stages, we are doing checkout of source code management. Then you are building your applications. And when you have to deploy, you are just doing help, upgrade, hyphen hyphen install, my app, namespace is your namespace. Then whatever the values are stored in values file and path to Helm chart. So you can deploy your Helm applications using normal cell scripts. And this Helm upgrade is the Helm related command, which is used to update your applications with the latest value of configurations. So this way you can deploy your Helm pipelines. Now, next question comes to our mind. How do you handle credentials securely in Jenkins? So there is a credential plugins. So Jenkins has a built-in credential plugin that allows you to define and manage various types of credentials within Jenkins. You can use this plugin to securely store and use credential in your build jobs or pipelines. To use credentials plugin, what you have to do? Go to manage Jenkins, then manage credentials, and then click on global or system domain, and then add your credential. Select the type of credential you want to add, like username with password, secret text, SSH username with private key etc. Enter the credential details and save it. In your Jenkins job or pipeline, you can reference these using credentials by their IDs. So this way you can configure the credentials securely in your Jenkins. Now, how you can handle the credentials in Jenkins? So you can use mask password in logs. So Jenkins can automatically mask password and other sensitive information in build logs. This helps to prevent credentials from being leaked in the logs. Apart from that, Kubernetes secrets. If you are using Jenkins with Kubernetes, you can leverage Kubernetes secrets to manage credentials securely. Jenkins Kubernetes plugin allow you to use Kubernetes secret as credentials in your pipeline. Even you can restrict the permissions, ensure that only authorized persons have access to Jenkins and its job configurations. Implement proper access control and restrict who can view or modify the sensitive information. Now coming to next questions. How would you set up a Jenkins job to trigger automatically when changes are pushed to Git repository? So to set up a Jenkins job to trigger automatically, when changes are pushed to Git repository, you can use Jenkins integration with Git webhook. Webhooks allow your Git repository to notify Jenkins whenever there is a new commit or push triggering the specified Jenkins job. So let us check an example. What are steps? So how to configure? Make sure that Jenkins is installed properly and configured on your system. Then you have to install the required plugins. Ensure that you have necessary plugins installed in Jenkins, like GitHub plugin or Git plugin. If you are using GitHub, you can use the GitHub plugin for better integrations. Otherwise, the Git plugin works well for a standard Git repositories. GitHub webhook plugin. If you are using GitHub, install this plugin to handle webhooks from GitHub. You can install plugins in Jenkins from manage Jenkins and then manage plugins. Then create a Jenkins job. So create a Jenkins job you want to trigger automatically. When changes are pushed, this job can be a free style or a pipeline or any another type supported by Jenkins. Then configure source code management. So in the job configuration URL, under the source code management section, select Git and provide the repository URL. Then you have to configure build triggers. So in the job configuration, under the, under the build triggers section, select build when a change is pushed to GitLab or GitHub. For GitHub, the option might be named slightly differently, such as GitHub hook trigger for Git SCM pooling. Set up a webhook in your Git repository. And for GitHub, go to the GitHub repository settings, webhook, and then add webhook. And then in the payload, enter the URL of Jenkins server with webhook endpoints. Choose the content as application or JSON. Select the event that should trigger the webhook. Example, just the push events for basic triggers and save the webhook. So these are all high level steps, how to create declarative pipeline, how to create a scripted pipeline, how to configure Git webhook. All these code we are going to push to GitHub and that GitHub link will be written in our comment section. 
Thank you so much guys for giving your valuable time. Next video, we will again come with more interview questions related to Jenkins. Thank you so much guys. Thank you.